It's country and f***ing western. That's country and western. It's even worse. It doesn't matter. Now, this is country and western. Hawaiian kickboxer. You don't know that song? I don't care. I don't like it. <laughs> Told you, no country and western. Fox, you know, to his credit, he's always wanted to challenge himself, you know. He could sit there and take on some of the other guys and build a legacy with just a lot more featherweight fights, but he wants to test himself and move up, and all I can do is support him and pat him on the back because not many other guys would want to take this sort of a risk, you know, especially against a formidable opponent like Islam. You know, he's a good wrestler, he's got very unorthodox striking uh, that people don't give him credit for. And we've had all different guys come out, a lot of judo guys, sambo guys, all different wrestling looks. Clear the knee, it's been good. Time! Let's go one kickboxing round. Kickboxing only. No takedowns. He's a tough fight. You know, this is, a, this is definitely a, a step up in competition. We're moving up a division. But um, again, I'm the guy to do it. You know what I mean? And I just want people to, to remember the, the guy that, you know, people saying this is a risk and all that type of stuff. Yeah, good. Just remember that I'm the one taking the risks. So when I go and get my hand raised, reward me for doing things like this. I don't feel like a lot of people do this enough. I think a lot of people should challenge themselves uh, because it's going to only make you stronger. And that's why I'm very proud of uh, who I am and what I'm doing. And I can't wait to show all the people out there that uh, if you believe in yourself, anything is capable. Time! Good work. Islam's camp has been going fantastic. I just joined on January 21st is when I got here. He's been training with the, the team in Dagestan with the, the great coaching he has there from uh, head coach there, Magomed. You know, the thing about Islam Makachev is he's well-rounded. He's the most well-rounded lightweight champion of all time. That's the beauty about having someone like Islam. We can fight any way we want. It's a pleasure to have that where you can actually go out there and make a change right as you're walking out to the cage. That's what Habib and I did on, on one of our fights in Las Vegas. So that's how good Islam Makachev is. We can actually change plans at a turn of a dime, no problem. <laughs> Magomed, great coach. The thing about Alexander is, where's the challenges for him? He's cleared out the division. He's proven to be pound for pound number one. So having a big challenge like this is a big step up for him. And so you know he's got a great camp. So we have to make sure that we do all the right things on our side too, because we're dealing with a very formidable team on, on their side and a true, true champion in, in Alexander. We have to do everything correct because, you know, he's very dangerous individual to strategize for. Well, it's, uh, I think, day seven for us here. You know, Josh has acclimated pretty well. Um, he's been grinding for the last seven days. So uh, today we took a little bit of a, an easy day for him, um, have him rest and recover, and then we'll hit it again hard on Monday. When he told me we were coming out here uh, two weeks before the fight, I, you know, I was just like, uh, that's kind of overkill. But uh, the minute we got out here, I, I understood what he wanted to do, and um, he's perfect. You know, everything is going well. His sleep is dialed in, his food is dialed in. He's getting ready for a championship fight. It's the biggest fight of his life. It's the biggest fight of his career. Uh, five rounds, 25 minutes. I'm really excited for this fight. You know, the Aussie fans are incredible, and uh, you know, the fans show up for about one, and it's packed, it's loud, and I can't imagine what the crowd's gonna be like um, fight night. Champion right there. We're gonna get right into it. Uh, we're gonna warm up to find a space where we can jog on the spot, sprawl. Uh, we're gonna do like three minute jogging, sprawling, squatting, rolling. Sprinting, 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 hands moving, hands moving, hands moving. Cool. Yeah, it's incredible to be fighting here in Perth. Not having to move cams or anything, just staying home with the family and training with the whole team every day as per usual, so it just feels like another day. 
Of course, there is a little bit of extra pressure, but it's pretty cliche, but like pressure makes diamonds, you know, so I think the higher the pressure, the bigger the stakes and the better the performance. Randy Brown, I think he's going to be my toughest test to date. He's a tall, he's one of the tall the probably welterweights you get. Eight seconds to go. So it's an exciting matchup, you know, a big, tall, well-rounded uh, veteran of the game. So I look forward to testing myself. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Camp's been going good. Um, everyone's been great here in Australia so far. Uh, people have been really gracious to let us train and still continue to work. So, been getting some good work in. I brought a good crew with me. You know, people who are exciting, rowdy bunch. Give me something before and after every time. Something before and after. They keep me busy and give me some good work, so kind of just keep the work output high, so it's cool. I think this fight, he's gonna get to see someone that's a little higher caliber in the fight game. So this is his first time fighting a higher level guy and we'll see how he does. We go in there, we finish off Kangaroo Jack, we take it to the top, man. We just keep running it up and keep beating whoever they put in front of us. Watch out. Watch your back. Look at that day. He was hopping over here. The white ones are albino, from the albino, but they're not albinos. If you ever look at their eyes, they've got dark eyes now. They're super soft too. Yeah. Yeah. And some so more? These are the reds, and that, see that one over there? <laughs> the oh, that was the grey kangaroo. Hey, what's up? Eric, if you want to touch Eric, just try and use the back of your hand. He's going to like, he's going to freak me out. What's that? That's crazy. Dude, this, this is so soft. It's, it's weird. I can't even describe like the, the fur. It's, uh, it's just so soft. They're super low key, super, or just like mellow. Yeah, that's, don't take my finger off, buddy. <laughs> Close. Look that way. <laughs> I could take some of his hair and put it on my head. <laughs> Can I borrow somebody? Sure. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Right? That's so cool. So you know the Wombats before? I've, I've heard of it, but I actually didn't know what one looked like. She's very the, you can have the comfy seat. Come sit on this As long as thing don't bite me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going to place her on your lap like this. And you kind of want to just have your hand underneath her arms. That's it. Put your hands under there. She's over. <laughs> What's up? That's crazy. <laughs> Today is Saturday, the gym owner thinks we rest, but Dagestan team never rest. Always training every day. That's why we're waiting for the key now. <laughs> Dagestan people training every day. So I, should, I should just leave the gym right Volkanovski is a great fighter, he has big experience in this game, he is a pound for pound king right now, <laughs> but we have to change the king in Shawa. <laughs> he is not the same power, it's going to be different because he never feel that power, you know. He beat many guys in 145, but 155, it's other jungle, you know. I'm gonna give him hard time here, and he now we're gonna come back to 155. <laughs>